Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Carlos with Twins Reef, and this is the Red Sea Reefer 300 Planted Tank. And since the last update, there has been new changes to this aquarium. I want to start off though with sad news. Unfortunately, a couple weeks ago, I had lost one of my koi angelfish. I started off with four large um, koi angelfish. Um, unfortunately, I lost one. I had found it actually somewhere right here laying without life um, I'm guessing it could be because of the old age I bought these when they're already large so um, I don't know how old was it when I had purchased it but yeah unfortunately I lost one of my koi fish so those are the only losses that I've had since my last update um, actually I'm lying another loss that that really hurt me was actually it was this high stream loach so I had a total of three and I found one of them um, as well dot that it was dead um, and this is probably one of my favorite fish um, I never kept one before I've always saw them as weird looking fish but man they they are good algae cleaners um, they're really active I love how they look how they swim and they're just cool amazing fish but fortunately I lost one of them um, at first, I actually had thought it was one of these Siamese algae eaters, but no, it was a hill, hill stream loach. And that's pretty much it with with the fish. Um, my black shake angelfish has grown so much. It's really beautiful. I love how it looks. Unfortunately, I, I wanted to buy one. So fortunately, where I bought them, they don't sell these anymore. This one's not your common black angelfish this thing's really majestic looking really beautiful i love how it looks man i i should have just bought more but man he he's been doing well really active fish beautiful man in person if you guys were to see this fish this fish is beautiful again all black super nice fish my discus are doing good um i still have my three discus i know i had a bunch and they a bunch of them died i have my blue diamond uh, I have like this heckle one and this pigeon blood right here. Um, koi fish are doing good. Siamese are doing good. My guppy that I had set up a 20 gallon tank transferring him here. He's been doing good. Really active little fish. You guys can see him. He's in the front. Probably wants some food. All my cardinals, rummy nose. I don't know how many I have but they look, they look good. I probably lost a couple because I know I had a bunch. Um, but they are still looking doing good um, What other fish we have? Um, the German blue rams are doing good um, I did used to have gold ram, but it died. So that's another loss, which I didn't I didn't mention um, I have a bunch of peppermint Cory catfish somewhere around here. I have a bit a big colony of them um, when they were in my 30 gallon um, tank they started to breed i don't know if they they have bred here um i haven't seen you know any new little cory cats but man that they could breed in your tank they can even though you're not trying to breed them they'll breed once they're happy and they like their environment so they're usually hidden somewhere in this little jungle that i have a bunch of plants um and that's it with the fish plants guys i've seen a lot of growth with my plants especially on this lily plant right here or tiger lily i think that's the correct name so i mean for a while this thing wasn't growing but i decided to put some root tabs in this tank once i put root tabs i started to see the growth not only on the lily on the lily plant on the tiger lily but on the swords over there as well as these um plant which i forgot the name of it again um but man it started to actually put this little leaf up here so this is pretty cool above the water and there's another one right here that's growing um since then guys i've been really motivated with this tank trying to maintain it keep it clean my wisterias are also doing good i just recently trim them um you know some people say it's hard to keep a planted aquarium with um sand as a substrate because it doesn't hold any nutrients but if you use root taps and you have good lighting you're able to keep um plants uh something new that i actually did was 
introduce or start injecting CO2. I've always had a CO2 system, um, but I didn't know where to get my CO2 from because before I used to get it from Dick's Sporting Goods, but they stopped sending CO2. So recently um, I was like, you know what, let me call around and um, I was able to find a paintball store and they were able to, you know, um, refill my um, paintball gun um, cylinder tank with CO2 and I have the regulator ready so that's new um, you know how CO2 can be toxic so what I did I added um, this little wave maker that I have back there sort of like a um, what are they what they call those a, a gyre type of wave pump it's a J bow brand um, so we're trying to get you know a little bit of more um, oxygen for the fish in this tank because before all, all we had was just basically the water flow from the return pump but I decided to put um, that J Bell gyre style wave maker it's at the lowest setting and then we have the CO2 injected back there unfortunately with this um, little thing right here it's it's steel so it's not like I, I would prefer to have the CO2 diffuser all the way in the bottom that way it allows all that that co2 bubbles micro bubbles to you know be in the tank for or in the water column for a longer period of time and then i put the wave maker there to blow all those micro bubbles here and you sometimes you can see the little micro bubbles on this side that way all the plants are able to consume that co2 if needed so that was recently introduced to this tank like two three days ago so i'm gonna see what's the difference because even with the root taps and the lighting i've noticed that my amazon swords finally started to grow i have a bunch of them back there all my java ferns all my anuvias have grown good um, the house plants are doing good i've lost a couple but i mean these ferns here the the peace lily and this other type of fern are doing good um, i haven't seen any lost there um, or any growth really um, but they're doing good. So I've been having those house plants for a couple months now and I mean they're, they're doing fine roots The roots look healthy um, The only issue I've been having has been with this black beard algae and with some type of hair algae. So um, I'm trying to do as much as water changes as I can now with the co2 injection um, The plant should outcompete that algae for all the nutrients So we'll see if that makes a difference with that co2 if it helps me uh, maintain all that algae under control. So there's been a couple things that I've been thinking regarding this tank. One is just rescaping. So there's there's a couple options that I'm, I'm thinking of doing with this tank. First, uh, first thing is basically rescaping the plants here, like moving them around to see where they're gonna look better because everything looks super messy. They look all over the place. Plants are doing good, they're growing but they just, it's all over the place. Um, and it looks really messy. Even though it looks nice, it looks messy. Um, and man, this video makes no justice how this tank looks in person. The water looks crystal clear. Plants look super bright and green. Um, just today, I actually just set up or adjusted the settings to the light. Um, I think they were set before at 40%. Now I have them set at 60%. So we'll see how that affects the plants too. But anyhow, Option one was basically locate these plants somewhere else, trim some plants and see how everything looks. Option two was removing all the substrate, the sand, and using some rich um, nutrient substrate like Fluval Stratum or the other brands they have out there. I think it's Tropica, uh, if I'm correct with the brands. Um, that way I I'm able to keep like red plants and like higher end plants that they're there because i have everything i have the light i have the co2 uh, and if we were to have like a rich nutrient substrate i'll be able to keep any plants i've tried it before with uh, trying to keep like monte carlo as a carpet um, i did a, a dry star method that worked well but you know i don't know what happened i just I, I every time you set up a tank you're gonna have algae issues i had a bunch of algae issues and and i don't know i just shut that tank down but i'm trying to replicate that again so it's either relocate the plants or two um 
get new substrate and probably new plants and rescape with this dimensions of this tank and see what I could come up with. And then last option, I don't know if I should do this, but I know that my fish are getting too big for this tank. So I was, and I don't know if they look right or not in, in such a, a tank. Um, I've been thinking of rehoming my discus, my angel fish, and just keeping small fish like tetras, um, rams, um, cory catfish, the hill shrimp loach, because you know these fish they're gonna get bigger probably the angel fish are gonna stay at that size but discus are supposed to get bigger but it all depends how you feed them i've been having this little um discus for a while now and i'm pretty sure it's stunted already and i don't really feed my fish that much i know if you want to grow discus um you have to overfeed them but at the same time you have to do a lot of water changes and that's something i don't do here another thing that affects my plant growth as well is the temperature I have discus, so this water temperature is about 82 Fahrenheit. Plants typically want the temperature to be around 78. Um, so I know if I was to bring down the temperature, the plants are gonna prosper more. But it's either I wanna keep a planted tank or I wanna keep a discus tank. Um, I know there's videos out there and people out there that they have kept both um, discus and plants on 78 Fahrenheit and the discus would do fine. Typically, people want the water temperatures to be above 80 because, you know, they, they want that, that growth on the discus. So if you want to grow your discus, it's always recommended to have it in a um, high temp water and feed them a lot throughout the day and do either daily water changes or three water changes throughout the week. I've done that before and I know that's true. Um, but on this tank, I do water changes every time I do water changes to my salt water tank, which is um, twice a month. So every two weeks, I do water changes on this tank. I do about 10 gallons, and I'm actually liquid dosing again. So I've noticed when I, I started to liquid dose and put new root tabs, I've noticed the growth. So especially this tiger lily has shown me that you know everything's doing well um, but yeah that's it for the video for this update all my fishers are doing good they are probably hungry um, every time they, they see me grab these bottles right here they would usually come to this side because they think I'm gonna feed them but my discus are probably looking at the camera and they're like yeah they're acting skittish but but yeah they're like, what is that thing? But usually when I bring this food can, they usually come to this corner, but they're acting, they're acting brand new right now since I am recording them. But yeah, everything's looking good. I like Wisteria, but at the same time, I, I don't like it. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with this tank yet. There came a point where I, I feel like shutting down my planted tank and just setting up another reef tank. But I love my freshwater fish. Uh, I love how the both tanks look next to each other. I do have my saltwater tank right there. So it looks good having both of them. But yeah. Uh, I don't want to keep this video any longer. That's it for today's video. Fish are doing good. Plants are doing good. Um, I just started dosing or injecting CO2. I added that J-Bell um, gyre style wave maker i just um modified the lights settings to today um day of recording um i do water changes once every two weeks i've only lost like three fishes so far since i have this tank set up algae issues a little bit we'll see how it goes with co2 now and with the new light settings with with algae um yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a quick overview of what's what's been going on with this tank. Probably in the, the next video, I could possibly had already removed this substrate with an, a rich nutrient substrate. If not, probably get new plants or relocate these plants. Touch touch this aquascape and see what I could do. Again, this video makes no justice how this tank looks in person. I love how you know, I have different type of fish and how every, 
but he's doing like their own thing like the Siamese algae eater he was just eating some algae right here he's over there now the hill shrimp loach I don't know where it's at but it's my favorite fish oh there it is and then here and there you will see the peppermint cory cats just swimming doing their thing so those are one of my favorites too um, I think all my fish are, are my favorite so anyhow I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and clicking if you like this sort of content you're welcome to hit the subscribe button comment anything down below and i'll see you guys in the next video i am out peace